Well, the Washington Commanders have found their next wide receivers coach, and this person is named Bobby Ingram. Now, I remember Bobby Ingram. Uh, he played in the NFL for about 14 seasons, I believe it was. He played for various teams during his 14-year career. Uh, but Bobby Ingram, he's had some coaching experience in the NFL, of course, as well. He, uh, he coached with the Ravens, I believe it was, for several seasons. Um, uh, so as the article says, um, <clears throat> Commanders made this uh, decision on Wednesday, actually. Uh, the 50-year-old Ingram played yep, 14 NFL seasons with three teams, actually. It was the Bears, Seahawks, and Chiefs. Um, it was a standout career at Penn State. Uh, Ingram was second-round pick in 1996, and um, he finished his pro career with 650 receptions for uh, 7,751 yards and 35 touchdowns. Uh, he began his coaching career in 2011 with San Francisco. Uh, in 2012, he was named wide receivers coach at the University of Pittsburgh, where he stayed for two seasons. Ingram returned to the NFL in 2014 as wide receivers coach for the Baltimore Ravens. He held that role for five seasons, and in 2019, Ingram moved to the tight ends coach. He was in that position for the next three years and departed at Baltimore after the 2021 season. Then Ingram was the offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach at the University of Wisconsin last year. However, the Badgers made a coaching change, and Egram was a free agent. <clears throat> so he interviewed with Washington last week and, of course, got hired with Washington this week. So there you are. Um, uh, the Commanders have their new position coach at wide receiver. It is Bobby Ingram, and, I mean, you know, he, he's, he's got a, a, a decent uh, decent amount of coaching experience. Is this a coaching hire that wows people? Probably not. Um, <clears throat> but then again, can anybody name our, our last wide receiver position coach without looking it up? Go, 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 go. Because I probably couldn't either. Um, you know, outside of people like Jennifer King and Jack Del Rio and Scott Turner from last year, it's probably very hard for us to come up with names of position coaches unless that they actually came up as certain headlines of getting fired by Ron Rivera or something like that, which didn't happen very often, but did happen a little bit. Um, so, you know, this is just the hire that's probably got ties back with Eric Bieniemy. Because, you know, he's trying to put his people in place on <clears throat> the offensive side as far as his coaching staff. Um, so, hopefully, you know, it's all about chemistry and working together. And that's what means more than anything else. So, you know, if you got a good coaching staff together that you know can work together, that understands each other, the schemes and all that stuff, then hopefully it's going to work pretty well. So, it remains to be seen. I mean, our, our wide receivers have played really well in the last few seasons. I mean, we had Terry McLaurin, who has developed into a great wide receiver. Um, we've had um, Dotson last year, who is going to probably be on the same equal footing as McLaurin. He's probably going to be your 1B guy. Of course, you've got some other guys who have been solid wide receivers around there as well. Curtis Samuel, who, you know, finally became healthy again and was an effective guy for us last year. So, I mean, wide receiver is not a problem. So let's see if this is going to help or hurt the wide receiving core in, in the next season. But obviously... Eric Bieniemy is doing what he's doing to to make his changes and getting his his guys in place and and so certainly we're seeing the results of what was said that he's he's been given full autonomy to put all of his coaching staff together and he's doing that for better or for worse we're gonna roll with it and see what happens let me know in the comments below what you think um, we got a new wide receiver position coach yay. I know that was the 
exact video you're wanting to see. <laughs> you know, so there you go. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought. If you like this video, please give it a like. Uh, share this video with others. Um, help this channel out by subscribing to this channel, visiting my Etsy page as well, uh, Envy Artwork. I design a lot of cool stuff from AI. Um, got a lot of cool t-shirts. I've got mugs. I've got you know, Washington Commanders mugs. I've got Washington Redskins garden banners. Even those stinking old cowboys I've got. Yep, I got those. Um, but I've got some for other teams as well, even... Even for the uh, world champs, I've got that on there as well. Look for it. Hey, you never know. What if we become Red Wolves? There's still some fans out there holding out to hope. I've got you covered, man. Um, uh, even the Red Hogs people, i got you covered as well. Don't give up hope. Um, I've got band shirts I've uh, designed. I've got stuff for kids. Um, I've also got awesome artwork. I mean, cool abstract neon designs, um, watercolor stuff. Um, I even, you can even purchase the, the, the digital stuff and print it out if you want. You don't have to necessarily, you know, buy the canvas or anything like that. I've got a lot of really neat uh, digital artwork. Uh, it's in PNG form. Um, I try to price it at, at, you know, five bucks, you know, download it, and then you can take it and print it out however you want, print it out on whatever you want, and, um, and it's, it's really cool stuff. Check it out. It's Envy Artwork on Etsy. So anyway, take care, folks. I will see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.